Hey guys, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangie and today's video is part of an ongoing collaboration called Jarred Up January. Super pumped to be at it again and today we are canning venison stew. So let's get in the kitchen. I'm going to show you how we're going to put this in jars and get it on our pantry shelves. Today I am making a low carb venison stew for the pantry. Um, this, I'm actually improvising, truth be told. I was gonna make regular venison stew, but I went to get my potatoes and my potatoes had gone bad. So um, I'm gonna improvise. And um, I am actually keto, so a lower carb stew on my pantry shelf is A-OK -okay by me. I am putting in carrots and onions. Both of those are a little bit on the uh, higher carb. So I'm gonna put just a little bit, but um, I'm leaving out potatoes. We're just we're making this very basic and so if my husband or my kids want to heat up a jar of this stew they can always throw in a handful of egg noodles or they can have it over rice um, either way uh, it's gonna be delicious so I'm gonna bring you in and we're gonna get this stuff in jars and in the canner the great thing about raw packing stew is that you're just building your stew per jar so in each wide mouth pint-sized jar I'm putting in a little bit of onion a lot of meat and a few carrots and some celery. If you were going to be using potatoes, this would go a lot further. You would use a lot less meat. If I had potatoes with the ingredients that I had set out, this would have made about six or seven pints. But as you can see, I got two pints filled and then this last pint, I'm just basically using the leftovers. Now per pint, I am seasoning with half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And now I'm adding in, this is organic beef broth. And after I pour some beef broth over it, I'm using a spatula here to debubble. Basically, you insert your spatula and kind of tilt it, and you're just opening it up, making sure that there are no air pockets and that you're getting your broth down as far into the jar as it can go. After you debubble, if all of your broth has gone to the bottom, you're just going to want to top it off. And I continue to debubble, and then I end up having to top it off again. Make sure you leave one inch of head space. Now I'm using a cloth with vinegar on it to clean the rims and I'm putting my lids and my bands on and now we're going into the canner. the canner unless it's full so back here are my venison stews the rest of these are beans and I'm gonna try to get some more in here my canner mostly full um, I did a combination of black beans and great northern beans to fill the canner the rest of the way and um, in case you are new to canning I wanted to mention this the reason why I am pressure canning beans and stew is because they have the same processing time since I started with cold meat, cold ingredients, I'm starting with a cold canner. So this hasn't even been turned on yet, but I am going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to turn this on kind of high to get it going. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on it. Go ahead and get this going when we come back i'll be taking the beans and the stew out of the canner if you're interested in more detail on how you know the venting process and all of that then i'm going to leave a link in the description box below to my canning beans video which i go into a lot of detail about uh, everything from how to check your jars to every step of canning so if you want to check that out i will leave that link in the description box below but when we come back we'll be pulling stew out of this canner and here they are after processing for 75 minutes, every single one of them sealed. And now I have venison stew, low carb for my pantry shelf. Okay guys, I 
hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check the description box below for all of the other channels that are participating as well as the playlist. So that way you can go back and collect all of these amazing recipes. And as the name implies, this party is going to go until the end of January. All right. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Until next time, be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared. Bye guys.